This is Jerry Ganfield, a volunteer at the Steele County History Center, and today we're going to talk about the uh, appellation for Steele County as the butter capital of the world. That began prior to the turn of the 1900s when two women from the local area who won many prizes at the local fair entered their butter in the national and international competitions, such as the World's Fair in St. Louis in 1904, the Trans-Mississippi Exposition in Omaha, beginning in 1884. Mina Holmes and Ed McCrosty had been making butter on the farm, <clears throat> and after winning so many awards and receiving medallions at these international competitions, they brought notoriety to Steele County. In fact, uh, Mina Holmes received an order from Potter Palmer, uh, who owned the Palmer House in Chicago, for 50 pounds following the exposition that she had won the gold medal. And we have one of those medals on exhibit. Emma McGrossy was competing with her quite regularly, too, and she had a, a, a herd of jerseys that she was very proud of that was on the south edge of Owatonna at the time and uh, won many ex exhibitions as well. Because of their notoriety, Steele County got international recognition and certainly national recognition. And because we had train access to Chicago and the eastern uh, areas, uh, they received many orders. Steele County had 24 to 26 creameries producing butter, and so this increased their sales. Um, and soon Owatonna and Steele County became noted for the most premium butter uh, per capita than any other county in the state. And of course it shared that uh, excellent butter with the whole state of Minnesota. But Steele County produced um, more, per capita, more premium butter per capita than any other county and therefore it made its own self-proclaimed Steele County butter capital of the world. And this is all part of preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.